guys, welcome back. So of course we have our Redbird Vintage Box unboxing and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I think I know what some of the items are in here. Um, so the Redbird Vintage team puts out um, some Instagram pictures and their own YouTube channel showing some of the items that they've either gotten in recently or some of the things that they're putting together for you know the monthly boxes and you can actually go on to their instagram and i believe their facebook page and also on youtube and when they're kind of showing all of the items you can screenshot those items and send it to them and say hey i want this and i've never done that before because I really kind of like the idea of it being a surprise. I like, I kind of like not knowing what's gonna be in here, um, but I'm not gonna lie, the last couple of boxes, I haven't really been real happy with, to be honest. Um, it's just kind of, it feels like it's going out of my style a little too much. So um, when I did see some of their posts that they had up, they had, um, they had just gotten a bunch of like makeup compacts and some really interesting kind of makeup um, items. And I just fell in love with a couple of them. So I screenshotted it. I let them know, you know, I'd be happy with any of those things. So I don't know if that's what's in this box, but I have a feeling that there might be a few items in there. Um, but I did kind of want to let you guys know that I might be scaling back these unboxings just because, again, I've not been not been getting a lot of the things that I like. Um, and, you know, for $60 a month, I just don't know if this is, if it's worth it. Um, I really enjoyed it when they would put in some of the housewares, you know, items and decor. And so I may just kind of put a pause on this for a little while um, and then maybe find a company that does more, you know, vintage knickknacks and housewares and stuff like that. Um, Cause I really do enjoy the unboxings. And um, although these videos don't do as well as some of my other videos, uh, I get a lot of feedback from you guys that you really like the unboxings. So maybe I'll just find another type of unboxing and maybe put this uh, company on pause for a little bit, but I'm not sure. So I just wanted to put that out there that I, I might know what is in here <laughs> prior to opening it. Um, but let's just go ahead and get right into it. It is a much smaller box, um, which is perfectly fine because some of the items that I had, you know, had asked about were smaller items. So I'm um, perfectly okay with that. So let's get, we have one little compact, nice little perfectly compact package here. Okay, and then we are back to having a darling little, um, got this really adorable packaging here with the um, tiny little brooch that kind of looks like a, a crown, I guess. Um, I hope this is going to come off. I don't want to mess up the, there we go. I'm just going to leave that on there because that looks really adorable just on that ribbon. All right. So, okay. Okay. We're going to open up the bag first. I swear, I love this fabric. Um, this print on these bags. I wish there was a way that I could um, gather them all together and make like a shirt or something because I really love this uh, this type of fabric. Okay, so okay, we've got some matching jewelry and another scarf. So let's open this scarf first. This one looks kind of small. Oh, it's very pretty. Oh, we've got another one of those nice and long scarves. Oh, the colors are really beautiful. Look how vibrant that is. The blues and the kind of lime green. That's really pretty. I like that. It's kind of 60s. Like the colors remind me of 
60s colors, that kind of really vibrant um, kind of blue and green. Um, and it actually goes really well with this whole um, jewelry ensemble here. So they did a good job with matching it all together. So we have a necklace and it looks like, yep, so this kind of hooks up together. It's got two strands and that's really pretty. I don't know if this is gonna fit my neck. Again, I have these problems with, oh, just barely, just barely fits, but it does. And those colors go really well with the scarf. And we have a matching, I think it's matching, maybe not. The brooch and the earrings, I think are matching, but I don't think they are exactly the same as the necklace, but they go really, really well. Okay, oh, we've got these little danglies on here. These colors are beautiful. This kind of blue and the green, and again, the um, Aurora Borealis in there with those greens and blues and kind of pinks every once in a while. That's really pretty. That's a lovely set. The brooch is, um, I think I can wear it. I think I can wear it. There's just, there's something about these kinds of brooches that are kind of, um, I don't know, 60s and 70s to me. Um, they remind me of something that my grandmother would have worn. Um, but I don't know, I'm really loving the, there's like carved into the, um, some of the gems here. They, they're, it's carved like it looks like um, leaves. That's actually very pretty. Um, now that I, you know, really look at it, um, I do like, I do like it. And I like the colors and of course it matches this scarf so well. Um, so those are fantastic. And then it looks like there's another purse, oh my goodness. Oh, wow, okay. Another beaded purse like this. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. So on one side, it has all of the flowers, and then on the other side, it's kind of halfway up. Um, oh, that is darling. That is absolutely darling. So on the, on the note here, it says the purse has a lot of, a bit of wear, but tons of life left. I'm not seeing a lot of wear, to be honest. I mean, there's some little bits, I guess, on the back, um, but not anything that would detract from using it or, um, and the inside is like pristine. The inside is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so. I was totally wrong. Um, the, the compacts and the makeup stuff were not in this. Um, I don't know if they just, you know, other people had, because um, I know it's kind of a first come first serve. Um, although they had mentioned that, you know, a couple of the things were still available. So I don't know if they're gonna put them in my next, um, my next box. Um, or if I'm just not going to get them at all, I don't know, but we will find out. Hey there, I thought I would clear something up really quick. The email that I had sent the gals regarding all of the makeup, um, I actually sent that after this package had already arrived. I did not realize this until after I had finished filming this um, because I have everything sent to my P.O. box and I just kind of let the package sit in my P.O. box for a little while. And I just didn't even think about the timing. So of course the stuff that I had requested did not get into the package that had already arrived to me. So that was totally my fault. Um, but there's a good possibility that in the next box, the, J the July box, which I do have, I went and picked it up early. Um, that's the one probably that has the makeup stuff. So I just wanted to clear that up for you. The girls did nothing wrong. It was totally my bad with not really understanding how timing works. So anyway, just wanted to clear that up for you guys. And I'm just now realizing that this little brooch isn't actually a brooch. 
it's, I don't know, maybe, I can't be, that's not an earring. Maybe it's a dress clip. It's a very strange um, backing to it. It doesn't, um, it's not a normal kind of dress clip. I don't know, you know what that would be really cute? Is in like a buttonhole. Oh, maybe I'll wear that. Like it kind of puts the little, um, there's a little knob. You can put that through the button, buttonhole. I don't know, but it's cute. I like it. It's a little, looks like a little crown. Anyway, um, well, that was a much, much smaller and less um, extravagant, I guess, box. Um, but they all go very, very well together. Again, we're getting more into kind of the 60s, which is not my style. Um, and I don't want to just keep accumulating things that either I'm not going to wear or I'm just going to end up selling off. So um, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to give y'all a heads up that I may be putting um, at least Redbird Vintage. I do like, like I said, I like the unboxings. I just may have to find something else that, um, that kind of fits me a little bit more. But um, anyway, that is all. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're having a wonderful summer so far. It's pretty early still, but um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.